are you feeling about the journey uh, over to Tokyo uh, and uh, catching up with all of the other New Zealanders that are over there right now? My campaign's been long, you know, this has been a long journey, but short at the same time. I've only been doing athletics for three years and I've really committed to it. So um, I've been lucky enough to make it to Tokyo and it's exciting just to get out on the world stage and compete against the rest of the world. Um, you know, it's kind of troubling times at the moment, but in order to go do what we love, we have to make ourselves vulnerable, but it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, I think, you know, it'll be a good, good experience overall. To be a part of the games and, and be on the world stage and see what it's like. What would you be able to tell our Rotorua community about goals like this one because it's pretty hefty? It is pretty hefty. I think just finding something you love to do and and just doing it or you know if you are un, unsure about trying something new just you can try it you know what's the worst that can happen it's a no. Um, we're lucky here at Rotorua we have a very tight-knit community and there's always people that are willing to help um, you know, we're not spoiled for services here for specific things, including athletics, but the Rotorua Stadium has really been accommodating to me and, and my campaign, especially in the last few months in my lead it. Um, and the facilities, you know, have, have helped me in my journey and training and stuff like that, and the team here are awesome. Amazing. How long have you been training here at the stadium for? Um, so I first actually came to the stadium, I think a couple of years ago. And then I stayed closer to home, so I was training at my local high school, Rotorua Lakes High School, close to my house. But just with the timing of my program and training times, it was more suitable to come to Rotorua Stadium and train here. So I've been here for the last three months, I think, like, yeah, three or four months. Um, but it's been a crucial part of my campaign as well. So I was really fortunate that the team here allowed me to train here as well and it's, it's nice, I feel very welcome here, and it's, it's awesome. Awesome. What advice would you give to anyone looking at uh, going to the Paralympics like you are? I think just give it a go. You know, as, um, sorry, so if I'm specifically talking about people with disabilities, we are often told what we can't do, and that's not entirely true. You know, pe other people can't tell us what we can and can't do. So I think if you're passionate about enough about something, just to try, because you don't know what your limits are. You know, you, you don't know how far things can take you. You don't know, you know, where the where the end point is until you actually get on your road and start going. So I think just just try it and you know develop a love for it and see how you go. 